so welcome students so students uh, yesterday we had uh, just uh, you know learn about how to install the mongo db and uh, just i went uh, through the syllabus and uh, mongo db has completely been uh, striked out from the syllabus so uh, there is uh, no point in uh, going along with that but yes you have learned that how to install mongodb and in the future it is definitely going to help you out okay and it is very interesting if uh, we really had that in the syllabus but it is completely been removed now and now we do not have that okay so today just okay before we go ahead and start with the uh, you know django and we are going to start with django that is uh, uh, from tomorrow so for today i just thought like okay let us take some interesting program and the program is uh, about the post fix post fix evaluation so we all know how to do it you know on the paper theoretically how to evaluate a post fix expression but we are going to develop a python program and using that program we are going to evaluate a post fix expression okay so for example we have something like this so this is a post fix expression where we have the number that is 2 5 and plus so this is going to result into 7 because this is you know 2 plus 5 that is 7 okay and if we have something like this that is 2 3 1 so we are going to assume that uh, these are actually individual numbers okay i just forgot to give commas out here so this is individual numbers so this is 2 comma 3 comma 1 and then there is a symbol that is uh, the product and so there are operands and the operator and all these are like a single characters okay just like this i just forgot to give the commas out here so if we have something like this this is going to result in minus 4 so this is a post fix expression and then we will evaluate it and get the final answer okay how to do that in python is what we are going to learn so let's begin without wasting any further time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch uh, to python now and uh, now let's begin so the first thing that we require is the push and the pop operation so i'm going to have two functions so that is a uh, push and pop so let me have them so i will have uh, you know push and i'm going to have a list out here and what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to push an element in the you know in this stack so it is um, maybe item so i'm going to say that this is an item so or i can do one thing is i can declare l as a global variable and then i can simply you pass the item and then i can enter the item i can push the item into that list so you can know that you know append function how it uh, works like every item that we put inside a list it is going to be at the end of the list so we can say it is going to be at the top of the list okay and uh, let me just quickly go through it and then we will see what is to be done if there is any logical errors and pop is basically going to pop the item so i'm going to say l dot and we have a method that is pop and uh, this basically takes a index value so i'm going to say that okay this is a index value okay so i'm going to pass a index value to this and this is going to pop and uh, this is going to return the item right this is going to return the item and uh, then i'm going to return that item to the main program now this is push and that is pop so these are the two methods two functions that we have come across and uh, now we will start with the main program and what i am going to do is in the main program we are going to accept a string that is i will say post fix 
is equal to and i'm going to say input because i'm going to accept everything in form of a string and i'm going to say enter a post fix expression okay something like this and uh, i'm going to enter the post fix expression with every character after every single character there is going to be a comma okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have the list and in that list okay in that list what i'm going to do is l dot or i should say post fix dot and that is split method i'm going to use that split method and give a comma to that so this is going to return a list so now uh, this is my main list so this is going to be an another list and uh, okay let me give a proper name to this that a stack okay so now this is my the stack that is a list and this is an another list so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know iterate with all the characters okay or okay let me just do it in the main itself otherwise i would have actually you know define a one more function but i'm going to keep the thing simple so for i in l so now i is going to have that you know items okay before i run let me just show you the output what we are going to have okay so if i run this and uh, if I give a post fix expression like 2 comma 5 comma plus okay and uh, the output that we have is 2 5 and plus right fine now what we are going to do is I'm going to say for i in L and I'm going to okay check whether that you know if that uh, character is a number right so how i can do that if i dot and is digit right is digit if i'm not wrong that's the method so if it is a digit which is uh, an operand so what i'm going to do is i need to you know push right if it is an operand i need to push if it is an operator i need to pop right that's the rule so i'm going to push that item so i'm going to say if it is a digit okay then i'm going to push that okay and then this is going to jump and going to push with that append method else what if else so if it is not a digit then what we need to do is we need to perform some operations and what is the operation that we need to perform is uh, if it is not digit or i can simply use l if okay l if and then i'm going to say l if i if it is equal to plus okay if i is equal to plus so, so if it is a plus character then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop two items from the stack and I'm going to do the addition of it. Okay. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to say something like this. Number one is equal to and I'm going to call the function that is pop and uh, I need to pass uh, the index. So what I can do out here is, you know, uh okay i need to pass the index so let me have a uh, one more variable like index is equal to zero and then i can simply you know increment that inside so that is after checking this and we'll say index plus equal to one okay so we are just going to keep track of that index value and i'm going to pass now the index 
okay so that index value will be passed then the item will be popped and then that item will be returned to number one and then i'm going to pop you know we need to pop the stack two times isn't it so okay i need stack out here stack and uh, stack right and uh, so if it is an operator i need to pop two items so that was the one pop operation and this is the second pop operation okay and uh, okay we do not actually uh, require anything out here isn't it it doesn't make any sense it is going to pop the top of the uh, stack so we do not need to do anything and this is going to solve my problem actually okay we do not require that index value okay so now that looks good and this is going to pop whatever is there on the stack i need to remove this okay and uh, okay that's fine and uh, then what i need to do is i'm going to say that is we are going to add these numbers and always we need to add you know so when we pop that's the number one and this number two but when we do the addition the addition is going to be something like this like answer is equal to number two plus number one okay this is what we need to do because uh, if we now this is just an addition so it won't make any difference it is number one out here or number two out here but when we divide then there is a problem okay so we need to divide the proper uh, number that is uh, it will be number two divided by number one okay so this will be number two plus number one remember it and then we are going to collect that into that answer because you know when we push we push the numbers and when we pop we have the uh, the you know the uh, you know when we divide it so it is going to be a problem so we need to have number two th then divided by number one okay so because that is going to actually maintain that uh, it shouldn't be like a divided by b and uh, if we have this number one divided by number two then it is going to be you know b divided by a so that is the problem that can arise okay will arise in fact so that is going to be number two so we're going to follow that since this is just an addition it is not going to make any difference but still okay and that answer we are going to collect in this particular variable and then that answer again goes into the stack so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a call to the push push again that answer into the stack and that is the rule isn't it and now it is pretty simple i can just copy all this and uh, you know paste it give it a minus sign and this is going to be now minus even for minus this is going to matter a lot okay so that is number two minus number one okay remember that and then again i will copy this and uh, i can do something like this and for product so this is going to be my product and uh, one more and this is going to be divide okay and i'm going to divide that okay and uh, just to make sure we have only the real numbers i'm going to make that as a int okay so let me just keep this only four operations and uh, that's it okay that is all that we require so there is a for loop for i in l and this is going to go so now let us test the program whether this works or not so you can just understand how i have made use of the stack and the push and pop operations so let me run this and now we will give a postfix expression that is 2 comma 5 comma plus okay and uh, there is no answer because we're not printing anything so at the last what we need to do is the answer is going to be in the stack okay so okay let me just let me just uh, print the stack okay and now let me run this 
and if I give you know 2 comma 5 comma plus and now that is 25 so it has not worked so this is giving the wrong answer so what exactly is in the stack that is 2 and 5 so let me check what went wrong so that was uh, so if it is a digit I'm going to push if it is okay if it's it is a digit I'm going to push so that is uh, I and uh, so that item is going to be in the stack fine and uh, okay let me print the L also so that I will understand what is there in the L okay now let me run this so 2 comma 5 comma plus uh, so it's all fine it looks fine to me now let me check the logic so if i is digit then if i is equal to plus then we are going to pop so this is going to be push for two times so we're going to push that into the stack okay looks good to me and then if it is an operator we are going to pop so that answer also goes back okay okay the problem is we are not uh, you know converting this into a number so i'm going to have that item and convert that item into a number and that is very very important okay uh, let me run this one more time and uh, this time okay 2 comma 5 comma plus and uh, you can see that we have the answer that is 7 so this time it has worked absolutely perfect isn't it so i'm going to just print the stack so let me run this one more time and uh, let us have some bigger expressions so i'm just going to check some of the bigger expression if i can get it and then we're going to let's see if it works or not with a bigger expression so let me just find a let me just find a bigger expression and uh, that is going to be okay here it is so i'm going to give something like 10 comma okay then 3 comma into that is product and then 7 comma 1 okay and uh, okay and uh, 7 comma 1 then comma minus is what i have then okay so this uh, we are supposed to give only you know the single digits okay so th this is going to only work for the single digits so i'm going to give something like 5 comma 7 comma then the product and uh, then 7 comma 1 comma and minus comma and uh, then the product again and something like 4 comma plus okay so hope this is a right expression i'm just checking it one more time and uh, looks good to me i'm going to give enter and the answer is 214 so please go ahead and uh, check whether this is right or not so most probably 99 percent this is the right answer okay so this is how easily you can develop a program in python and uh, by which we can convert a postfix expression evaluate it basically okay and that's the evaluation program in front of you we can actually go ahead and do this for you know sing, uh, double digits or multiple digit numbers also this is just a single digit number that this uh, program actually works but we can do it for that also but then we just have to do some more coding for that okay so this is just an example children how you can enhance your programming skills and how you can use your the stack okay so tomorrow we are going to start with the 
Django and uh, MongoDB children we do not have that in the syllabus so it's um, no use of uh, going ahead with MongoDB so tomorrow we will start with Django so see you tomorrow bye for now